Hey everybody, it's Ryan Groshek, and I want to share a little bit about what student ministries has looked like during the COVID-19 pandemic and the quarantine. One, two, three, everybody say hi. 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 We, like everyone else, had to figure out quickly how to connect online when we couldn't be together in person. But I'm so proud of our leaders and students who showed up every week to our Zoom calls. Woohoo! Look at all those students! <laughs> As you may know, one key element of student ministries is having fun. And while most of the time we couldn't be together, I think you'll see that we still ended up having quite a bit of fun. One of the highlights for me was that we actually had a star guest appearance as a part of one of our Zoom calls. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna run around and desert you. Wow. A couple of our students joined the Sunday morning tech team and helped bring church services to you in your own living rooms. One of the biggest highlights for me was seeing our student leadership team step up and continue to serve their peers. In fact, in the month of May, they put together an entire teaching series called By You For You. They were sharing one minute encouragement messages every week and they prepared the teaching series for the entire month of May. It's very easy to become negative in a time like this. Being stuck indoors, not having a break from parents and siblings, not able to see friends face to face, sports being canceled, a bunch of things. So what Paul is saying is that we should focus instead on the pure, lovely, and positive things. We can just take comfort in God's word. And his word says that he's in control and that he has overcome the world. And all we have to do is cast our anxiety on him because he's got this. And while we're going through these hard times, I think it's just encouraging to remember that God has us, he's all powerful. He knows what the future holds and he's got us in his arms. And we're to trust God, that he is compassionate and merciful, that he's working for the, like, all the, for the good of those who love him, as we see elsewhere in, in the Bible. Overall, trials and hard times of despair have come into your life, not because God is upset with you, but it is to grow us in our faith. And having that peace of mind that God is behind it all can truly calm you, mature you, transform you to becoming more and more like Jesus Christ. I'm so proud of our students who have adjusted during this crazy time. They have continued to stay joyful, trusting in God, leaning into Him, and they've been there for each other. Thank you for your prayers and your support going forward. Thanks for watching.